Welcome to this talk. Uh, today we're joined by Ollie West. Ollie is a visual learning specialist, uh, and that means he's devised a strategy called Footnotes, uh, which he's been using in an educational context for about the last 10 years. Um, I understand, Ollie, that it's not just been used in an educational context, and I'm really interested to learn uh, more about it. I've found that the use of a folded piece of paper um, for lots of different types of thinkers has been particularly useful. The idea of being able to put down your thoughts, not necessarily in any particular order, um, gives people the ability to put um, ideas down on paper that they probably wouldn't put down. And that ability has really opened up um, communication skills and the ability to recall information that individuals would normally lose. It's based on um, the idea that most visual dominant learners, I think, need to see the whole idea in one go, the big picture, they think about the big picture. And often when we actually try and translate that down into um, language that would make sense to others or perhaps in a, a test or an exam, that sometimes the organising of how you would say what you know um, is uh, such a big challenge. Getting the big picture squeezed down into this succinct um, idea and the process of putting ideas that you might use rather than saying I'm definitely going to use them and not knowing what order they're going to go in seems to release a lot of people. From a behavioural point of view, actually seeing in front of you what your thoughts have been, or actually what your actions have been, can sometimes really show the individual where they really are. And I think that's really, um, you know, releases them to uh, feel more in control. And a lot of the young people that I talk to who I can very much relate to spend a lot of their time feeling as though they're not being understood and they feel different. And I'm just loving the fact that encouraging them to draw and to think in visual terms seems to really uh, give them the confidence that this difference is actually an ability rather than a disability. And sometimes, uh, rather than trying to find the word, which is actually quite time-consuming, that actually a quick scribble of an image um, can hold as many words as you like it to, without inhibiting the next thought that you're going to have. And we know that a lot of visual thinkers are also simultaneous thinkers. They find it difficult to decide which thing to say first. And as a result of that, putting these ideas down very quickly in images rather than words gives them that ability to make the decision at the last minute as to how all of this is going to be ordered and displayed and uh, shared. So really it's a sort of, it's a brainstorming, um, it's an encouragement to brainstorm first. Um, do you then encourage organisation after that, or do you leave it very much on the page as it is? The idea of the grid is that you can take a pair of scissors to this. They're then cut up to credit card sized images that can be used in um, all sorts of ways. Uh, some degree students that I work with uh, have come up with quite elaborate systems for uh, using these with um, little boxes, um, almost in the same way as Solitaire, uh, the game is uh, sort of laid out on the table, um, giving them the control over how many images they see and what order they put them in and how they relate to each other. Um, and uh, I have examples of students who have produced eight to ten thousand words worth of information in visual terms and then translated over across into written terms. In fact that's something um, that I'd uh, encourage individuals to do, to try and think of their visual language as its separate language and then think about how it's translated at a later date. And it's amazing how many people find that uh, so liberating, um, rather than trying to start an eight thousand word essay and thinking right away in words and trying to think where the heck they're going to go. Body, thanks so much for coming in today and uh, sharing your grid with us. Um, I know that it's very much the tip of the iceberg of uh, the work you do and that you've found loads of different contexts in which it's been, uh, it's been useful. Um, 
For those that are interested, Oli has uh, recently put his thoughts into a book uh, and talks uh, around the UK and elsewhere. Um, and um, his contact details are on the website. Um, and we hope that uh, people look him up. Um, thanks very much. Thank you.